This is a very high duty homogenizer and uh, the performance uh, of this homogenizer lasts for many, many years. Here we are trying to explain how to run the machine once you purchase the new machine. Uh, you will get some stand. This is the stand. Uh, this can be used to support uh, the heavy drive uh, of the WT500 uh, instrument. So I'm just going to explain how to assemble the stand. So first of all, <coughs> Keep this uh, straight uh, stand on top of this base and there will be two Allen nuts that you need to tighten from the back inside. These are the Allen nuts and you will require an Allen key for the same. The Allen key comes with the shipment. We have tightened uh, this uh, stand. Then we will on the sides we have to again tighten the side stands with the four Allen screws. <coughs> These four will go one, two, three and four. Again I am tightening all the fours in the same way all four will be tightened. So we can tighten all the four Allen screws. One, two. Three and four. So our stand is now almost ready. So this uh, rod uh, needs to be fixed here. This is basically if you want to clamp uh, your vessel you can clamp with this. This is a sliding nut which you can loosen and slide it up and down. This is a support rod uh, for the drive. The drive is a little bit heavy, so uh, it's not possible to run it holding it in hand. So it has to be mounted on the stand most of the time. So this, uh, with the help of the threads, you will tighten this rod. This is called the flange of the drive. So we are tightening the rod on the flange of the drive. And then we can load it here. And then we can tighten it. Again, uh, we can increase or decrease the height of the drive with this nut. And this is the boss head that is used for the protection. So that in case by mistake the drive slides, uh, it is stopped with the boss head. This is a disposing shaft and it contains uh, basically one uh, shaft. And on the bottom you will see that there is an outer part and there is an inner part. The inner part is called the rotor and the outer part is called the stator. So the principle is that there are so many slits on this uh, stator and rotor and whatever the medium is, it pulls from inside and then it comes back from these holes. So whatever medium is there, it is crushed uh, between the walls of the stator and the rotor and this is the principle of homogenization. Uh, the fitting is very easy for this. It's a notch fitting, but care has to be taken once you want to fit this, you should push it full and then rotate clockwise and you will listen a click sound. So this is very important and it should stop. So this is the way how to fit the this buzzing shaft. So our stand and uh, drive is mounted and now we are putting a sample to make a small run. Suppose uh, here we are putting one small bucket. So this is our sample. If we are having a doubt that this can move while running, we can uh, strap it actually. And we can make it sturdy. This strap is locked here. So that while running our sample bucket or sample vial or any container doesn't move. We are going to make a small run out here. Let's put the power. And I'm putting this on. 
So I am sliding it down and adjusting the height as per my requirement. Care should be taken that this should not be emerged uh, deep down on the, um, up till the bottom. Uh, the best thing is that uh, the height should be one third above the bottom uh, surface of your vessel or container. So now everything is ready and uh, we can make our run now. This can be used to adjust again. So now we are making, uh, now we are giving a small run out here. So this is the, I am putting the main power on. Please uh, be sure that once you start the run, uh, keep the number at 1 and if you will increase the number at 2, 3, 4, 5, it will increase the speed. Normally 1 starts from 10,000 RPM, then 2 is around 12,000 RPM, then 3 is around 15,000 RPM, 4 around 18,000, 5 around 22,000 and max is around 30,000. So in the beginning, always keep this uh, at number 1. And this is the on-off switch. If you will press it down, the machine will start. So at this point of time, the machine is running at 10,000 RPM. So if I will increase the number from 1, the speed will increase. So I have brought it at 2. Now you can see the speed is more. Again, the speed is increasing. So this is the function uh, of the rotor stator main homogenizer and now in the last uh, we will just uh, go how to clean after the use. So I am stopping this machine. Stopping is simple, you just have to press it, this switch, so the machine is stopped. Now in the last we will just explain how to clean the rotor and stator. run is over, it is very very important to clean uh, the dispersing shaft. To take the dispersing shaft, rotate it anti-clockwise and pull it down. So the shaft has come out and now we will disassemble the rotor and stator part. There is a tool which can be used to take the rotor out, insert it in and lock it in this slot. So what we will do, uh, we have to rotate it actually clockwise so that it opens and then we will, we can actually open it hand tight and if it is uh, hard, press, take some cloth otherwise uh, you may cut your hands actually. Now we have to disassemble the rotor and stator. So there is one more tool uh, that is used uh, for this, insert this rod in the tool and rotate is anti-clockwise the inner rotor. Just hold the inner rotor and rotate is anti-clockwise. So the rotor has come out with this. The stator will come out. And you can see this Teflon bearing, uh, this is very very important part and it has to be there. So you can uh, wipe all the parts and if required uh, you can use uh, some uh, detergent also or some uh, any other uh, solvent uh, that is suitable to clean. So once we have wiped all the rotor and stator parts and if you want to use it again for the next run, so firstly insert the Teflon bearing then insert the stator and then 
lock the router. You can tighten it slightly, the rotor. So once it's tightened, insert it in the shaft. Insert it in the shaft and anti-clockwise it gets tightened. Once it is done, Again, if, if you want to see once again, press it in full and then rotate it clockwise and at one point it will make a click sound. This is the locking position. Dear customer, we thank you once again for purchasing uh, the homogenizer and in case uh, you find any difficulty, always uh, feel free to contact us.